Hi, it's Kristen, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to screencast. Screencasting is anytime you are recording your computer screen in order to demonstrate something for your learners. There are a lot of different applications that you can use to screencast. If you are in any of our Edge 21 courses, you'll see that there is a page here on how to make a screencast. And there are a lot of different tools that you can use, and it's kind of the user's preference. But in this video, I'm going to focus on Screencastify because it is a Chrome extension that's very easy to use, and students can use it as well. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use that. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is get the extension. So you can go to screencastify.com and download the extension, or you can go to the Chrome Web Store and you can add the extension. You can see on my Chrome browser right here that I've already added the extension. It looks like a little film strip here. And to get started, all you're going to do is go ahead and click on that. You have a couple different ways that you can choose to record. You can choose to record just one tab of your computer, your entire desktop, or you can choose to record right in directly into your camera. If you do your desktop version, you can also embed a webcam. So if you're seeing videos where somebody is, you can see them talking, that's where the webcam is embedded. The first time you use it, you may have to approve the use of your microphone. Usually you'll use the default or the built-in microphone. And then all you do is go and ahead and start recording. Now because it works with your Google Drive, the first time you use it, it may ask you to approve uh, a connection to your Google Drive. And the great thing about it is that all your screencasts will save directly to your drive. So they're really easy to share with other people. Once you decide to get started with the recording, it's going to ask if you want to do your entire screen or just uh, one of the tabs. I'm going to go ahead and do my entire screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and start uh, recording. If I have the preview on, it'll show up here in my lower right-hand corner, and I can see how long I've been recording. If I don't have that on, all I'll notice right up here at the top is this little red light, meaning that I am recording. And so I can go ahead and talk through, uh, I can go back and forth in different tabs if I want to, um, and those will all show up in that preview screen. And then when I'm done, if I've got the preview screen up, I can go ahead and stop that, or I can just stop sharing. Uh, and when I do, uh, that stops my recording. And then I'm going to go ahead, I can go ahead and preview my recording. And I also can go right into my drive and see all my recordings in my drive as well. Again, I'm going to want to make sure that I title those. I don't want them to be untitled. So it's a super easy way to record your screen. And I encourage you to use it and check out some of the other resources on the How to Make a Screencast page.